I haven't seen this video. I don't know why I have this up. What is this? I just don't care. Okay. If you're smoking weed, you're gonna burn in hell. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> I. I... <laughs> I hadn't seen the video. I had only seen the, the like the, the words on the tweet, and I was like, and I and I just opened it in the new tab. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> what? Dog, hell is going to be a chill place, man. If it's just all the stoners, like it's just the stoners in hell. Chill is gonna be, it's gonna be a chill place, my man. I just don't what what passage in in the Bible does it say if thou if thou shall uh, uh, Get smoked up thou shall be smoked on by the devil forever care If you're smoking weed you're gonna burn in hell Okay, we're told to be sober-minded if you're continuing to swear and curse you're gonna burn in hell. Dude, they drank they drank wine They drank wine the, the, In the Bible Jesus turned water into wine why would he do that? Was 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 Jesus actually the anti the anti hero the entire time, saving some people and dooming the rest of them to internal damnation? <laughs> yeah, I I know the passage. It was Stoop four twenty. You're right, chat. You're right. Hell, because we're told that we don't live on food alone, but the words that come out of our very mouth. Okay, and sin is like yeast. Put a little bit of yeast. You know, oh, you want to be honest? You want me to be honest? I think a lot of hardcore evangelical types are really scared of drugs because some drugs can give you near religious experiences and that could end up possibly strain you away from more traditional abrahamic faiths like if some if you take mescaline you you could have a a, a real like close like peyote like close to like real like interaction with god physically interacting with something that like hallucinations that are, are like the closest you can imagine to actual magic you know what you mean same with LSD, psilocybin, same with mushrooms, same, definitely true with DMT, which is one of the most powerful psychedelics alive. And it's like an instant reaction. It's a businessman's trip, five to 15 minutes, and you can interact with like interdimensional beings and crazy stuff. And if you're an evangelical Christian, the idea of having a bunch of 18, 19, 20 year old members of your faith interacting with that stuff and being straight away because it's like, well, this book tells me there's God. I take this peyote and I actually get to talk to God. You know, it's it might be pretty scary for you as an evangelical if you don't keep all of the all of the sheep, you know, hurdled in, you know, in a, in a big gate. You got you can't keep them from all of this Buddhist and and kind of like new age nonsense, hippy dippy nonsense, uh, hippy dippy. Shout out to the old hippy dippy podcast, all the hippy dippy OGs in chat. So you got to keep them away. You got to got to scare them away from the drugs. But he's saying that for weed, right? I guess he's doing weed because weed is more popular than, you know, psilocybin, psychedelics, mescaline, stuff like that. Uh, but uh, that's that's what I think. OK, I think they're they're scared that they might take something that shows them an alternate path. Burn in hell because we're told that we don't live on food alone, but the words that come out of our very mouth. OK, and sin is like yeast. Put a little bit of yeast in the dough, it spreads, and I guarantee it, if you're swearing, you're doing a lot more than that. If you keep watching pornography, you're gonna burn in hell. Damn, so it's yeast, porn, and weed. The, the, what's, we get one more and we have the four horsemen, okay? The real four horsemen, okay? We have yeast, porn, and weed, the first three, okay? Screw famine, okay? Screw war. You know, th those are the old ones, okay? These are the new ones. Okay? If you keep getting drunk, you're gonna burn in hell. So alcohol, video games, porn, and weed. These are the four horsemen. Okay? If you keep having sex before marriage, you're gonna burn in hell. Ah, premarital sex, too. Damn, man. My God, you got all these rules. You got all these rules. You know what I think about often is let's say you're like a Viking. You're like a Raider Viking and you've lived like uh, and you know, the Raider Vikings were horrific, actually like, terrible, terrible people. Right now, there's a lot of things they did that I would assume, though, that was not horrific, but was quite fun, fun, like the drinking or, you know, other activities they might have engaged with. Some people say that the Marauder, quote unquote, Vikings, like the Vikings that like got rage and very violent, actually 
actually the reason they were was because they were eating a certain type of mushroom that made them start tripping and so they would eat those mushrooms before going into battle and then they would be tripping while they're fighting it and it like takes away yeah the berserker vikings right and i don't know what that is but i'd like to take whatever that was that sounds like a, like a blast right and could you imagine you're like living that type of more maybe uh like laid back like free existence and then someone comes in no sex no drugs no alcohol no no fun no porn no jerking off they're just like you're just like restricting all these giving them all these restrictions 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 they're just like god damn you're taking all the fun out of my life this is so god just wants me to be bored constantly that's his priority. So to be clear, God doesn't care that, like all this other stuff. Okay, so all the famine in the world, like he, he could be dealing with that, but he's concentrating on the fact that I just wanted to light one up after, uh, after a long day of like tilling my fields. Okay, I'm not getting off on this. I've done a lot of these things. This is the- Yeah, he's not getting off on this or anything at all because he's a nerd. Truth, no one wants to say the truth. Okay, listen, I was resurrected from these things. I live- <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What would resurrection from weed look like? What, what does that even mean? You know, you know how like Jesus, when he was killed at the cross, they, he like his body was put in the cave. And then after like, after three days, he, he risen, you know, and he pushed the rock away and he, and he left and, and he, and he skedaddled. And this example, would it be like somebody smoked weed in their apartment for like three days, just sustaining on DoorDash and on the third day he risen and he got out and got a job? Like what, how would you resurrect yourself from weed? What does that even mean? in these things and guess what i did all of it and jesus christ brought me back and then i still chose to do it and i kept doing it and i kept asking him to forgive me and he was patient because god is love and god is patient and then he finally finally resurrected me out of it and here i am telling you that if you don't stop doing it you're gonna burn in hell and i'm only doing that because he resurrected me out of all this stuff and this is the truth if you keep lying to people you're gonna burn in hell if you keep fearing people's opinion, you're gonna burn in hell because the fearful will be in hell. I'm not trying to overwhelm you. If you keep being bitter, you're gonna burn in hell. I'm not trying to overwhelm you, but if you do anything I don't, that I'm, that I'm saying is bad right now, the entirety of your existence for all eternity will be the worst suffering imaginable. If you touch a joint, you will die and your mother will have the knowledge for the rest of her existence that you're going through the worst pain ever imaginable for the Ever and all time forever and you won't be able to see the rest of your family members who will be in heaven having fun while you're burning and dying and suffering but because of the fact that there's no suffering in heaven they won't even feel a single a bit of anger or sadness at your absence because you touched a joint if you're not forgiving, you're gonna burn in hell. I understand this is a hellfire message. I understand that, but these need to be preached because no one preaches them. Yeah, no one preaches them because it's fucking stupid. I mean, I'm sorry, man. I, I can't. I have zero respect for this type of stuff. Two hundred thousand followers on TikTok. My goodness. Okay, let's move on to this one. This is Ethan Schmidt. So some of you guys might know Ethan Schmidt from his uh, Petco appearances. Um, I actually uh, have shown his videos on here before. Uh, I showed two videos of him walking into a pet uh, Petco, and while in the Petco, he would confront confront the Petco staff over the fact that it had a rainbow flag. And both times, the Petco staff was like, "Please leave. No, we will not remove the flag." And then it went viral, and the managers of the Petco called the staff, and they told them, good job. So, he, he did not succeed. And now I don't think those flags are ever going away. And like, ever. Now they're going to keep them up forever. So, he currently does not have the best batting record for taking down the queer LGBTQ plus alphabet suit mafia. But let's see. So, this is a video of him in a Target destroying tr uh, pride propaganda, okay? So this is the type of activism that Ethan Schmidt concerns himself with. Let's let's go see what that is. On consumers, we're gonna try to get the insert. Because Alex Jones says watch it, watch it. that there is no insert. 
there's nothing on it. So. That's it. That's it. That's, uh, that's it. I'm, I'm not like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be like angry or upset. So the first reason I'm not angry and upset is that the trans tr uh, gay LGBTQ plus pride uh, lineup is occurred at Target's awful. No chump change gave tuba wheels a tier one subscription. I see a white name. Purge the white names. Welcome to the Dillaban. Thank you so much for joining the Dillaban. Uh, no chip change. Uh, I mean, gifting a sub to have tuba wheels join the Dillaban. I don't know if you guys have seen the Target, Target, gay clothes. Okay, I don't know if you've seen the um, their 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 like Pride lineup or whatever, but it's not the greatest. Burns I mean, it's not terrible mold, either, but it's just not that good, bank, right? Hand. So that's, I guess, the first reason I'm not that angry. I'm not angry at all about this. Tuba wheels. So thank you for gifting a tier one sub in gutter chat to Game Optics. I appreciate that. So I guess that's the first reason uh, I'm not angry. And the second reason is I don't know what this achieves. I mean, in my opinion, all this does is make him look like a clown. And honestly, like all he, he stepped on like a wooden sign, and he didn't even like destroy it that hard. If I'm being honest. If you look, it's still together. All it would take, he didn't rip it or anything, is a target staff to walk by, re-click in the side of their cardboard, and then just put it back up there, and nothing, nothing changed. He did. He didn't tear it up. He didn't. He didn't even achieve what I think he thinks he's achieved by destroying some trans pride propaganda. He didn't. It would be like if I was. I want to destroy a road sign, and I do it by just removing the road sign and, and setting it on the floor. Like, I guess it's a hassle to put it back up, but he didn't destroy the, he didn't even destroy the road sign. Um, I guess, I guess it's more, uh, this is supposed to send a message of hate out there. Like, haha, you, you queers, we got you, you know, I guess that's, that, yeah, that's like the big point behind what Ethan Schmidt's doing here. But, um, no, nah, I don't think that that communicates that's communicated at all. I think he just kind of looks like a loser. Anyway, let's finish the video because somebody confronts him on what he's doing because, uh, I think the the only reason I, I'm I'm really upset in any capacity because I think he's doing more harm to his movement than good, is that it probably sucks for the target employee who had to take one minute to fix uh, this and then put it back up. It's disgusting. That's demo worship. That's demo worship. That's demo worship. Call the yeah. It's like a $10, $10 sign. Yeah, I got that. And it. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got it. You look so cool. Just see, he's getting confronted by people in the store. Like, dude, what the fuck? Don't, don't make people have to clean up your mess. Don't make a mess. Don't. Well, what's the, what's the point behind it? Cause that's devil worship. A rainbow is devil worship. Dude, I'm sorry, man, but it would be pretty funny if the devil, <laughs> the devil sounds like a pretty funny guy. If he was like, man, how should people worship me? I know. Suck cock. 